Well, it's one of the most common cancers and the leading cause of cancer-related death in both men and women in the U.S., and that is lung cancer. Better screening is crucial to improve survival rates. And joining us now with what you need to know is Monica Tapia, lung cancer nurse navigator for Methodist Hospital. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. How are you? Doing well. All right, let's talk about this leading cause of cancer-related death and talk about who is at risk for lung cancer. Yeah, so definitely individuals with a smoking history are most at risk for lung cancer. Cigarette smoking is the leading risk factor for lung cancer. Um, and in the United States, actually about 80 to 90% of all lung cancer-related deaths are directly linked back to um, cigarette smoking. So an individual with a smoking history is at risk. Anyone with exposure to secondhand smoke or other environmental exposures are also at risk, as well as individuals with a prior history or family history of lung cancer. All right, so individuals with prior history and of course family history of lung cancer at risk. Let's talk about why screening is so important. Yeah, so screening is definitely important for early detection. The sooner we're able to identify and diagnose the lung cancer in our patients, um, the better survival rates and patient outcomes. For those who are diagnosed in an early stage, we can devise a plan of care for them and offer them you know, potentially curative treatment recommendations. So there are new guidelines now for the annual screening rates. What, what, what are those? So the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, recently announced a national coverage determination that expanded lung cancer screening guidelines. Previously, the recommended starting age for screening was 55 years old. That's now been reduced to 50 years old. Um, and individuals previously with a 30-pack year smoking history, that's now been reduced to a 20-pack year smoking history. So anyone between the ages of um, 50 and 77 with at least a 20 pack year smoking history, asymptomatic who is a current or um, who is a current smoker who has quit smoking in the last 15 years um, is a potential candidate for lung cancer screening. So that really is um, something new to us that they've lowered that screening age. That's something that an individual who and someone with a smoking history who thinks you know, they're a casual smoker, social smoker. Now with that 20 pack year screening guideline, they may be a candidate for lung cancer screening. So on our website, we've got a health risk assessment um, where an individual can go on, enter their information, their smoking history, their exposure history. And at the end of the assessment, it will let them know if they're a candidate for screening. Um, we also have nurse navigators on staff for individuals who may have a lung nodule, or a diagnosed lung cancer. And so we as the navigators definitely help the patients and their family um, communicate with the multidisciplinary care team, as well as just advocate and educate them throughout their journey and the care continuum. All right, Monica, thank you so much for all that information. All you have to do is scan the QR code to take a free lung cancer risk assessment. And for more information on the Methodist Heart and Lung Institute Lung Center, just call 210-575-LUNG. That's 210-575-5864, or visit the website sahealth.com slash lung cancer.